A cross-generational group of youth and seniors from Maple Avenue are headed to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Among the many wonderful people that came to show support was State Delegate Tom Huddle. I wish I wish I didn't have to know my job. Fallen sick! I know. <laughs> My name is Gladys Harvey. Smokey D. Christopher King. Weta King. Terry Siemens. From St. Louis, Missouri. A Silver Spring. Tunnel Park. Silver Spring. St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we headed to uh, Gettysburg, PA to visit the uh, the war grounds and uh, kind of tour the whole facilities. For many on board, this will be their first time visiting the historical site. Well, I've never been there before and I'm interested to see what it looks like and just having fun. Put together this bus trip so that they can go and actually engage in a uh, learning experience of historical portion. This has been a historic trip, first time it's happening, and going to look at a historic site like the Gettysburg Civil War uh, battlefield. During the ride, there was lots of excitement and plenty of anticipation. After about an hour and a half on board, the bus finally arrived at Gettysburg. Once there, various locations were visited within the park, starting with the viewing of A New Birth of Freedom, a film inspired by Abraham Lincoln's call to protect all ideals of democracy. The cyclorama was among one of the most extravagant features within the center. Painted by French artist Paul Philippe Patois, it depicts Pickett's Charge, the failed infantry assault that was the climax of the Battle of Gettysburg. Each person came a long way to see the historical site, and each person had their own reason as to why they felt it was important to do so. When asked what they thought about soldiers who sacrificed their lives at war, some very interesting things were said. America is a country that stands on the merits of being free, being a country of home for the brave, and it's a country that people feel that they will fight for the freedoms that we have here in America. And if America as a country goes to war with countries like Afghanistan that does oppression, then I believe the soldiers will fight for that freedom that America offers. Some soldiers, they're just heroic and they're following after their ancestors who fought. For a man, you would understand that, hey, I got to be a macho man and fight for my country. <laughs> it's honorable. And they just it's don't want it. It's just in them. They just don't want to give up. There's a certain part of the, uh, the population is still, who are descendants of slaves, still suffer from the fact that they come from slavery, that this with their self-esteem makes them feel lower as citizens and doesn't give them enough esteem to rise to their full potential. Then there's another part of the population who looks at them as former slaves and say, look at them as I owned you formerly. And so because they have that mentality, that gives them a superiority complex. Civil War and we got to buy souvenirs. It's very fun and I hope I'd like to come back again. The younger generation, the one who is not that familiar with the civil rights, I would say people born post 85, they don't have the hang-ups about race that people were born pre-85. So I think the younger generation is going to be the ones that can bend the riches 